Hello, and welcome to creating an electronic field trip for science engagement. In this video, we will cover the five main aspects to creating an EFT. We will look at what are EFTs, how they are useful and the different formats, pre-production, which involves planning and executing an EFT, the ideal software and hardware needed for a successful EFT, the structure and length of the live program, and important aspects to remember when creating an EFT. EFTs are a way to extend complex scientific research, information, and programming to a variety of informal, non-formal, and formal audiences. EFTs allow science communicators to provide access to locations that teachers and students typically are not allowed to physically visit. This may include protected research labs, field sites, or locations too far to visit in a school day. EFTs allow participants to engage in a two-way conversation with experts. EFTs have been found to be effective in increasing youth's interest in STEM by raising awareness of the nature of science and the scientific inquiry process. EFTs have been found useful in changing youth's perceptions of scientists and science careers. EFTs can take multiple formats, such as Purdue zip trips, which were EFTs developed and aired on television, and live webcast format utilizing mobile devices. A successful EFT involves preparation. This involves working directly with subject matter experts and the teachers to determine content and schedules. Surveying teachers about relevant content is useful as teachers provide insight into topics relevant to students' curriculum and overlaps between teaching and learning priorities. Scheduling a time to host the EFT involves a coordinated effort between scientists and teachers. As part of preparation, there are several pre-production steps which must be taken. Learning about the subject matter expert research, developing a rough script to match the education standards and objectives, capturing and editing photos and videos, and recruiting schools, which is carried out via direct email, social media, and media releases. It is important to note EFT should not coincide with standardized testing times, thus working with teachers' schedules is crucial to the success of the EFT. For participating classes, the teachers are provided with a teacher's guide. This guide provides teachers with a synopsis of the program which includes relevant information needed to make the best scheduling and viewing decisions for their classes. The teacher's guide also provides information on the specific learning objectives connected to the EFT content, the who, what, when, where, and how of the EFT. In addition, the guide also shows how the learning objectives align with middle and high school next generation science standards. Suggestions for wraparound lessons and activities which may be carried out leading up to the live EFT are also provided. The web link for connecting to the program, suggestions for how to play the program on classroom projectors, smart boards and student laptops. Additionally, a pre- and post-assessment of students' attitudes towards and content knowledge of the EFT subject is conducted. Post-assessment of teachers is conducted to obtain feedback on the implementation process, what worked, and what could be included in future EFTs. The following hardware are essential to ensuring a quality EFT production. These hardware will ensure the EFT has quality audio, sound, and streaming. You will need an iPad, an iographer case, which allows the user to create professional-looking video content by adding tripods, lenses, and other accessories. A sunshade for iPad to shield the iPad screen from the glare of the sun, and different audio accessories to ensure quality audio. Additional hardware includes a multi-use tripod for stabilization of the video, a Verizon MiFi jetpack for a stable internet connection, and an iographer backpack to store all your equipment. At a minimum, the following software are needed to ensure a successful EFT. 
Editing software such as After Effects Photoshop and Premiere Pro are useful for in-depth, multi-layered and fine-tuned editing. Mobile video editing and recording apps are ideal for quick in the field production work. These include Big Lens, DSLR Camera App, Filmic Pro, iPad Camera and Switcher Studio. Live streaming includes software such as a speed test to assess internet signal strength as well as download and upload rates. And you stream TV for creating TV shows and broadcasting them over the internet. This image provides the ideal setup for crew and mobile technology. There are three main areas. The host and the scientist, supported by four iPads, A, B, C, and a director. A MiFi for uninterrupted internet connection and a floor director for time management. The third area is the question and answer station. Ideally, there should be at least three crew members to operate multiple iPads for a variety of camera shots and angles and one floor director for tracking time. The Live EFT is a 45-minute interactive program with questions. The 45 minutes is comprised of three 10-minute segments, each followed by a five-minute question and answer session. During these question and answer sessions, the host and the scientist will move to the question and answer station where the team with the laptop will read the questions sent in by the audience for the scientist to answer. At the end of the three segments, an extended question and answer segment occurs before sign off. In summary, the key to a successful EFT involves appropriate planning and preparation to ensure the best quality final product. Collaboration with scientists or extension specialists and teachers are important. This involves considerations for mutually appropriate times which considers all participant schedules. Therefore, EFTs should not be scheduled during standardized testing times. Further, partnership includes ensuring the content complements national and state standards, Surveying teachers for content suggestions to confirm the EFT's content aligns with learning objectives. Conducting a test run prior to the live EFT. This is crucial as it allows communicators and scientists to become familiar with what is expected. It also helps with identifying issues which may arise so that they can be rectified in advance. EFTs should be offered at multiple times during the day to accommodate the variety of timing challenges. For instance, early childhood, elementary youth classes, middle and high school classes all have different class time ranges. Considerations should be given for internet access and mobile technology. Last, appropriate assessment of the EFT should be carried out to gain insight into students' interest, content knowledge and attitudes. And students' and teachers' feedback for future programs should also be assessed. In this video, you learned about the different components involved in creating an EFT. About the EFT, pre-production, hardware and software, live streaming, key takeaways. To learn more about EFTs, additional information can be found by reviewing past EFTs, such as ranches, rivers and rats, sun rays and windy days, bats and beyond, conservation conversation. Additional information can also be obtained from the following journal article. You can also visit Streaming Sciences social media platforms to learn more about science engagement. Thanks for watching this video.